Jesus and take a step towards him. Today's scripture reading is Luke chapter 17, verses 20 to 21. God's word says this. Being asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, he answered them, The kingdom of God is not coming in ways that can be observed, nor will they say, Look, here it is, or there, for behold, the kingdom of God is in the midst of you. This Sunday, Mike talked about how different ways that we can miss Christ and Christmas. And one of the ways that he discussed this was our expectations, that sometimes our expectations can be um, unrealistic and maybe not even what God has communicated to us about um, about this Christmas season. And specifically in this passage, we see that the Pharisees have, have some unfair expectations of what the kingdom of God is like. And so Jesus responds to them and says that the coming kingdom is not one that you're going to be able to see um, or be able to, to touch or to smell or to taste. Um, but the coming kingdom is, in fact, in your midst. Now, the Pharisees are not believers. The Pharisees are, have, have rejected Jesus. So he's not saying that the kingdom of God is living inside the hearts of the Pharisees. But he is saying, hey, the kingdom is in your midst because the king is in your midst. That the kingdom has come because the king has come. That he is standing right before them as the representation of the kingdom. Now, here's an important nuance that um, is slightly complicated, but well, I think it's important that we talk about, is that we believe in a already and not yet kingdom. What do I mean by that? Is that we have already seen and experienced a piece of God's kingdom now, that Christ has come, that Christ does rule in our hearts, that we want to live in the kingdom now, already But there's also a not yet, that there is an eventual consummation or or complete fulfillment or complete coming together of God's kingdom. That's what is promised in Christ's return to earth in which he will bring the kingdom in its entirety. That Jesus began the kingdom in his first advent or his first coming, and he will complete or consummate the kingdom of God on earth in his second advent coming. So we are already living in the kingdom, but we're also not yet living in the kingdom. And so in this passage, we see that our expectations need to be filtered, that it's not just a a political kingdom or it's not just this thing in our hearts, but there is an ultimate kingdom that we will experience once Christ returns. Let's pray. Our Father, we thank you for your word. I pray that through the power of your spirit, Luke chapter 17, verses 20 through 21 would change us into the likeness of Christ. And Lord, we praise you that you are the king who has arrived on the scene. Father, that you have begun your work of establishing your kingdom on the earth. And Father, in this kingdom, um, Lord, there's no sin, there's no pain, there's no death. And God, we long for that day. We long for you to return. But Father, in the meanwhile, in the the, the already, um, Father, we pray that we would uh, borrow from the future, that we would live as though we're in that kingdom now as we pursue justice, peace, and mercy. Father, we pray this now through the Son and by the Spirit. Amen.